Hurricane season is early and well underway all over the country. But how can you make sure your dog is ready to weather the storm? Let's bark about it. Welcome back to Alpha Paw, your destination for everything dog. I'm Bernie Zilio, and I'm on a mission to answer every doggone question you've ever had about your fur babies. And today we are talking about how to make sure that you and your pup are ready and prepared should a storm head your way. With hurricane season starting earlier this year, it's never too early to make sure that in the event of a storm, you're covered. Since our canine companions are really our fur babies, it is so, so important that we include them in any weather-related preparations for their safety, but also for ours. In fact, it's estimated that over 250,000 families had pets in New Orleans before Hurricane Katrina. Sadly, because there were no plans to evacuate these families, let alone their pets, it's believed that around 100,000 pets were left behind. And as for the families that chose not to evacuate, about 44% of them said they chose not to leave their homes without their furry friends. So yeah, this is a serious topic and can gravely impact you and your pet if you don't plan ahead of time. So that's what I'm here for, to help you plan. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, just like you would do for yourself and any other humans in your household, is gather supplies. You'll want to make sure that you have enough food and are stocked up for your pup for at least five days. Ensure that you keep the food in an airtight and waterproof container and make sure you have your buds bowls ready to go as well. But you'll wanna stock up on other items too, not just food. If your pup is on any medication or necessary supplements, you'll wanna make sure that you have these in your storm kit as well. You should also make copies, hard copies or otherwise, of all of your pet's medical records. And now that we're on the topic, before a storm hits, make sure that they are up to date on all their vaccines, since proof of immunization is critical when bringing your pet to a boarding facility or vet office. In the event of an evacuation, these sorts of pet centers can be so, so important. That said, if those aren't an option for you, you'll wanna make sure to reach out to pet-friendly hotels or even family or friends who live out of the area who can accommodate you and your canine companion should you need to leave your home. Of course, when planning for any disaster, we want to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. So while the goal is to keep our fur baby right by our side at all times, we also wanna make sure we're covered for the just in cases of life. So how do you do that? By making sure your dog is microchipped. It's a simple and easy and permanent form of identification that can help you and your dog get reunited God forbid you're ever separated. Also, make sure that your contact information is on your dog's ID tags and that it's up to date. You'll also want to ensure that their rabies tag is included on the collar as well. And it might not be a bad idea to put a harness on your fur baby to provide extra security so that they can't slip away in all of the commotion of an evacuation. Now, there are plenty of other things that you may want to consider in the event of a storm like any other documents, a pet carrier, and potty bags or pee pads for your pup. But while a storm and preparing for one with your pet can be scary, you'll feel all the more calm and ready to take on whatever comes your way if you make the proper preparations for you and your furry family member. We just wanna make sure that when it rains, it doesn't also pour. Do you have other tips for preparing for a storm with your pup? Put them in the comment section down below so that you can help everyone in our Alpha Paw community. Again, I'm Bernie Zilio, and this is Alpha Paw. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single doggone episode, and we'll see you next time.